this battery is about to run out. Um, oh, today's quite a special day. A lot of things are happening today, and I don't know how much time I have left before this battery runs out. But um, good morning, hello, welcome back to the vlog. So, um, very weird but special day today. Also, um, this is uh, what work got me for Secret Santa. Uh, this is a not a L series lens, um, although I wish it was. This is a, a mug. I have actually got three other lens mugs that is the exact same lens, which is quite nice. Um, but this one's really good because it, it's a travel lid, so I can just take it into work, which is great. Uh, I'm getting a collection now of uh, lens shaped mugs. And funnily enough, all the other two were also. Um, gifted to me as Secret Santas, so that's fantastic. But yeah, I'm actually going to a special event tonight in London that I have to get ready for. I probably better get ready for that. It's a bit early, but also I don't really want to be late. It is a lovely uh, December day, only four nights till Christmas at the moment. It's the 21st, very exciting. I have been uh, invited, um, not by the team, but by a friend to join them to go see a film. And it's a premiere slash thing, not actually that sure on the technicalities. So there's kind of levels to a premiere because we go into a crew and cast show, which from my understanding, it's not really kind of for the press. This one's kind of for the cast and crew. Obviously I didn't work on it, but I'm kind of going as a plus one which is quite fun, uh, less pressure for me, and I don't. I get to enjoy the movie without watching it and realising all the mistakes I made, uh, but this is for none other than Aquaman 2, which is crazy, and it starts at 4.30, and it's currently free, so I need to get changed quite quickly, get on the train, and go. I believe if you're not in on time, then your delay won't let you in. Uh, corduroy, corduroy, good middle ground. This is from Uniqlo, nice new white shirt, but I think that looks quite nice. A lot deeper blue than I, was originally intending for, but yeah, I think it kind of works. And then to finish it off, gotta wear a hat. I don't know, that's a good question. Overdressed or underdressed? It's a really hard uh, line to toe, really. I'm gonna finish getting ready, put on something to smell nice. I need to get into central London to Leicester Square. And yeah, I'll take you with me. It is now the day after. Uh, I did get back, not that late, but I got back late-ish uh, yesterday from the cast and crew show for Aquaman 2. Um, so thank you once again, Jed, for inviting me to come along. Uh, I am wearing a stained jumper. It is one of those days. It's like three days before Christmas. Any type of effort I've, I've given up on. We saw the film, and then really cool. So we saw the film at the Cine World in Leicester Square. Very, very nice screen, very nice. Uh, I was kind of appropriately dressed. I was appropriately dressed. I don't think I was too smart. There was people there in like full tuxedos and there was people there who were in like jumpers and stuff. It was a nice fight, you know, people with their families. Uh, obviously everyone in the cinema did work on the film. Uh, Jed works in digital at Warner Bros. So that's how uh, we got the tickets to go there. That was obviously my first time seeing Aquaman 2. It came out yesterday, so, so they were very on us with like not being able to record anything. I couldn't really record anything in the cinema. They made us put all our phones in bags and stuff like that, even though there's not really much to spoil. Yeah, is it a fantastic film? No. Uh, <laughs> so with cast and crew screenings, obviously it's a bit different. I mean, we had our uh, popcorn and uh, water provided to us, which was really nice from them. There was no adverts for the screening, because why would they? Uh, they also had a, prior to the film, they had a message from the producer, which was really nice. The producer described it as fun and entertaining, um, which is probably how I would describe it. It's very, very fun, very, very entertaining. I think it didn't take itself as seriously as it did in the first film, whereas there was a lot of jokes in this film that spelled from the last film. So I really enjoyed that. I thought that's I think it's fun when a movie understands what it is and then they can really play with it. It's like you're, you're owning what the film is. Obviously, sometimes that doesn't work and it kind of becomes kind of too self-critical and it kind of, you kind of lose the integrity of the film. So I think this film kind of played the line of it quite well. The characters took themselves very seriously and some characters didn't, which is great. One of those characters being Aquaman who didn't take themselves too seriously, which I think actually really works in this film. I think um, Aquaman, Jason Momoa did a fantastic job uh, in this in this film. I thought they were actually quite endearing and quite funny. The film probably didn't have the emotional uh, prowess that 
it had thought it did, I guess, or it tried to achieve. Uh, judging that half the film, the biggest plot point is that they're going to kill a baby. So you'd think it'd be a bit more powerful, but there's not really much. You know, the, the film is a bit strange. Uh, but it, I tell you what, you know, they had like a whole heist sequence. They broke someone out of jail. Um, they went to a forest that was being uh, infected. And there was big bugs, some really good CGI. Give credit credit to the CGI was actually quite good. And also the use of practical effects were really good. A lot of costumes. I'm going to be too negative on the film. Uh, I, my film critic days are beyond me. I thought it was a fun film. So if you're with a family, definitely go see it. Uh, if not, it's not... It's not one for the critics, uh, let's just say that. It knows what it is, which I really enjoyed. And what was really cool is that after the film, Jen and I decided to go to uh, the Weather Spoons in Leicester Square, which is sat down at a table, which we had to share with someone. Turns out the person we are sharing the table with um, was one of the set designers on the film, and they were in the same screening, which was fantastic. So we just spoke about uh, the film, and other films are filmed in the same studio. So we've got other films I've worked on and what's coming out soon. So that was absolutely amazing, actually speaking to someone who worked who on set with the actors and with the stars. And that was lovely, and they gave a lot of great insight into how they made it, how they did different effects. This is why people love festivals, it's why people love these premiere screenings, is because you're always surrounded by the people who make the films. And I would, I would argue, obviously, of course I'm going to argue this, but the people behind the films, people behind the TV shows... Are, are, are more interesting interviews than the people who were in, in front of the, the camera. You know, people behind the camera, people in the props department, you know, they, because they see, usually they see the project for longer. They, they've known about the project for three years, they've been working it for, for a lot longer. Um, they know about all the stories because, from the perspective of, uh, you know, if I was a producer on a film, the last thing I'd be doing is saying about all the downfalls and everything that went wrong to the actors because obviously that's stuff we don't want the press to hear, I guess, or to make the film look bad, whatever. But sometimes they're the best stories, and I feel like you get those best stories from members of the crew who aren't necessarily in front of the camera or want to be in front of the camera because they're more honest and, and they're, they're, it's their day job, you know, it's, it's what they do for... Uh, like all the time, all year round, on loads of different films, and then more films to compare it to, and also a more variety of comparison because a lot of actors either only work with one or two directors, or they do one or two types of genres. So it's nice to see someone who works in the studio, or it's nice to talk to someone who works in the studio that does everything, and that's what I really like going going to these types of screens. You get to meet all different types of people, and I'm sure I will talk at some point about the comparisons between uh, one trident slinging superhero to another trident slinging superhero uh, the new Percy Jackson series has just come out I've watched the first two episodes I'm gonna watch the third episode as a sneak preview I love it I think it's fantastic but I'll talk about it more another time because something just arrived uh, this actually was ordered today and then it arrived four hours later how crazy is that and this is a lens adapter for my cinema camera um <laughs> So this is the case, and that's the camera. This looks a bit goofy, because it is a small lens. Usually I'm, I'm working with something a bit bigger, um, uh, but hopefully with my new baby, uh, next year, 2024, uh, we already have a few projects in the work. Yeah, we'll get some cool stuff going, hopefully some original content, um, but I'm looking forward for Rexy to get their kind of first proper tested test drive, um, which is gonna be really exciting. But yeah, thank you for joining me, and um, Merry Christmas. Ela sempre chega bem vestida, salto alto, saia colorida, nunca passa despercebida, feita para se apaixonar.